Hey, welcome to a fresh new episode of TD News Show. And today we're gonna talk about that Nvidia don't need to care about gamers anymore, but AMD is caring about you. So should you go with AMD or Nvidia? Let's talk about that. Well, first thing first, let's talk about Nvidia's Q2 earnings call. In that earnings call, they revealed that they have profited 13. 0.51 billion dollars. That's they, not a small amount. Right. There once was a time when Intel was making profit, what Nvidia and AMD making combined together. And now Nvidia is on the top when it comes to the big three tech companies in the industry right now. But that's not the most crazy thing about this story. Nvidia made this revenue. The majority of it came from their AI data center segment. The AI and data sector made over $10 billion. Yes, they made over $2 billion in gaming too. If I was Nvidia, I wouldn't put so much thought into making better gaming graphics card. I would try to sell more and more AI and data center GPUs where we know they are marking up their prices over a lot and here's the thing it's only gonna go upwards and not downwards because the whole industry is moving towards AI revolution but on the other hand AMD is thinking about us you me the people who cannot buy $1,000 $2,000 GPUs we have to settle for $300 $500 GPUs well AMD just recently launched their two new mid-range GPUs the RX 7700 XT and the R x 7800 xt now these gpus are targeted towards 1440p gaming and i can safely say that they are priced also quite well 449 for 7700 and 499 for 7800 and they also come with pretty good specs the rx 7700 xt comes with 54 compute units and 54 accelerated rt cores it's clocked at up to 2544 megahertz and you are getting 912 bit gddr6 12 gigabytes of memory and for rx 7800 xt you are getting 60 compute units with 60 rt accelerators and it's clocked up to 2430 megahertz and you're getting 256 bit GDDR6 16 gigabytes memory. Now AMD also showed some benchmarks and I'm gonna say this thousands and thousands of time I don't care how many times I need to say it and I'm gonna say it again and again that do not believe on first party benchmarks wait for the reviews but if I have to make a two cents over their first party benchmark it looks pretty good and in some certain scenarios when it comes to ray tracing they are also performing quite good even beating their competition but in most cases Yes, NVIDIA is still ahead of AMD when it comes to ray tracing stuff. And AMD also launched their FSR 3.0 with some new improved upscaling features and a new frame generation technology of their own. And if you want to know more about FSR 3 and their new frame generation, you can click this video right here. But that doesn't mean that NVIDIA is falling behind. NVIDIA also launched their DLSS 3.5 improving their ray tracing technology while using a upscaling method and if you want to know more about that too you can check video right here or right here uh, somewhere there will be a card now let's talk about the hottest game in the block right now Baldur's Gate 3 Baldur's Gate 3 launched in PC and it received tremendous support because it is a really good game I am playing it I am just like one or two hours into the game and I'm already getting lost what I want to do what I don't want to do it's a really good game but if you are one of those who have a console especially Xbox well, you don't have a Baldur's Gate 3 option in your Microsoft Store, but don't worry, it will be coming pretty soon. But there will be some things that you need to keep in your mind. And that is if you are using a Xbox Series S, then you wouldn't see some features in Baldur's Gate 3, especially the co-op mode, the local multi-screen co-op mode, which Xbox X Series X users will be able to enjoy. But talking about new things, MSI did little oopsie oopsie in their new live stream. They just disclosed 14 gen Intel CPUs. Like you can see in 
that live stream like currently you can't see because it is deleted from youtube but there are some snippets around the internet because you know if you do something on the internet it will be on the internet for forever and you can see in one slide it was clearly stated that NDA do not share. They were under the NDA. I don't know how they are doing the management or especially the media team. Well, now if it's leaked, let's talk about that. It's just an incremental upgrade from the 13 series. On an average, it's 3% faster and there was one CPU, the i7-4700K, it was 17% faster because we will be seeing more little cores or more efficient cores. And I know it doesn't sound that much impressive because it's not supposed to be. It's an incremental upgrade. If they priced it the same around what they launched their 13 gen CPUs, then it will not hurt people that much because a little improvement for the same amount of money, it's always all right. It's not, but Hey, look at the industry right now. Everything is so much expensive right now. Now let's talk about some quick news. Starting with Sony, they launched their $200 handheld gaming console. And it's not good because it's just a glorified cloud gaming device because it doesn't have Bluetooth. And I think you can only play games on a local network from your PS5. I don't think you can travel with it and it's also not pocketable. So yeah, it is not a new PSP. And also Xbox Game Pass is now coming to Nvidia's GeForce Now streaming service. Threads launched their web uh, platform. That's it for today's tech news. And yes, I am not doing any entertainment segments uh, because uh, honestly, I haven't been watching anything for a quite long time. But yes, we you know in the comment section what are you guys watching? TV series, anime, movies. Uh, give me some suggestion in the comment section. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't, well, hit the dislike. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do it right here. And there's Akash, and we'll see you guys in the next time. Peace.